Hey guys and welcome back to a new Unreal Engine Marketplace video. Today we're going to be showcasing a seller spotlight sale of Ethereum designs where we can get 50% off across all of their products. So let's just get right into it and I'm going to be having a look at some of these ones starting with the Fantasy Forest. So this allows you to step into a magical world with this incredible Fantasy Forest environment. So this includes two levels in this that you can use straight out of the box and look at. You have a peaceful level where you're surrounded by lush greenery, swaying grass and a sense of calmness. And you'll also see detailed trees and rocks and a modular room set that has a touch of mystery as well. But there is also a scary level where you'll be transported to an ominous and eerie environment with barren and twisted trees, gloomy rocks and muddy terrain that will make your skin crawl. So you've got two completely opposite environments using the same pack, which shows you what is capable using this pack. So in this pack, there is a total of 107 unique meshes, those being shrubs, thorns, and trees, glowing mushrooms, rocks, branches, grass, roots, and ruins. On top of all of that, there is also a wind controller blueprint, a material parameter collection for the wetness of all materials, looping animal call blueprints, rain particles, ambient environment sounds, bird sounds, a realistic water material, and much, much more. There's 152 materials and material instances with 233 textures with the resolutions ranging from 128 all the way up to 8K, but with the majority of them being 4K. Next up, we've just got Demon. So this is a burning demonic zombie character, which is complete with AI as well. So this features two skeletal meshes, one with a heatwave effect and one without. A basic AI blueprint with, with random roaming, AI perception, chasing, attacking, damage, and death. There are five zombie material types and five animations. It is rigged to the epic skeleton. There is a first person shooter character, and there's also a placeholder environment. So again, this is rigged and rigged to the epic skeleton with IK bones included, and it is animated with five in-place animations for the one character. There's 32 materials and material instances with four textures, with those being two at 4K and two at 8K. And there's 23 environment textures, those ranging from 128 up to 4K, with the majority of them being 4K. So this one looks absolutely fantastic. And again, this is perfect for the kind of games that you might be making right about now, especially if you're in a horror game jam, for example. Next up, we've got the poly style, low poly medieval winter village mega pack. So this is a magical winter wonderland filled with stunningly crafted medieval architecture. It contains over 450 meshes that you can use to create your own dream winter village. Inside each building you'll find detailed interiors as well, they're not just empty, and this is perfect for creating immersive quests or providing shelter from the bitter cold environment. And there are also physics based doors that can be easily opened and closed on all of these buildings as well, so you'll be able to create even more interactive gameplay experiences. So in total there are 485 unique meshes, 53 blueprints for easily turning snow on and off on specific items, a snow particle blueprint that checks for ceilings and moves particles above, a large scaling village level, an overview level, buildings with interiors and a physics based door blueprint. There are 58 materials and material instances with 7 textures with those ranging from 512 up to 2k with the majority of them being 1k. So there are horror symbol decals, large English text, smear, circular, large alien text, wall stain, skull and face, and small text. So again, that's a total of 122 decals across those different textures that I've just listed there. There are 130 materials and material instances with 129 textures ranging from 6k to 4k with the vast majority of them being 4k. So this is just a nice simple pack with this vast majority of different decals that you can use for your horror games as you can see in the video on screen now. Now it is the Primitive Stone Age Weapons Pack. So this allows you to smash your opponents with this pack of 9 high fidelity Stone Age weapons. So the weapons included are a club, war hammer, large hammer, small hammer, axe, tactical knife, basic knife, killing stone, spear and pickaxe. So we said there's 9 but that listed 10 there. The materials included are stone, iron, bloody and dusty. So you can have all of these different weapons and then you can also change what the material of them is. So you can have a stone knife, an iron knife, a bloody knife or a dusty knife. So in total there's 10 unique meshes, 
with 53 materials and material instances and 55 textures, with the resolutions ranging from 512 up to 4K. Next up, we've got the Ancient Modular Fantasy Cave. So this is a high quality ancient fantasy cave. So this includes stalagmite meshes, ground and ceiling meshes, walls, candles, and a statue, bowl, and gold coins and petals as well. So this features one material parent for all cave rock instances with a material collection parameter to adjust the global values, four candle blueprints for stationary lighting and four candle blueprints for static lighting, 12 stalagmite meshes, six wall meshes, 12 ground and ceiling meshes, four candle meshes, one bowl, one gold coin, one statue, and one petal mesh. So in total, that is 38 unique meshes, all of which have automatically generated collision. And there are 40 materials and material instances with 71 textures ranging from 512 up to 4K, with a majority of them being 4K. So this one looks absolutely great once again. Next up, we've got the Sci-Fi Modular Interior Environment. So this kit contains 65 environment meshes and 15 decals. So this contains 16 blueprint corridor assets that include static lighting to immediately populate your scene. On these blueprint corridors, you can adjust the wall type, trim type, ceiling type, and floor type by simply adjusting its blueprint variables. You can also adjust the light color and light intensity as well. Now there are also three blueprint doors which have obviously been animated and respond to the player pawn trigger. Each door also includes a decal in which you can change the type, size, and position offset all from within the blueprint. This pack also contains two door sound effects, two ambient spaceship sounds, and two fan sounds, all of which have been mixed to create a total of 12 unique sound cues which bring the scene to life. So it features 15 decal static mesh utilizing one material, 14 floor meshes, 6 walls, 6 stairs, 6 ceilings, 3 corners, 2 large doors, 1 console, 1 corridor door with 3 separate door frame meshes, 2 door hand scanners, one floor pipe, one three-way corridor floor and ceiling, one four-way corridor floor and ceiling, three asteroids, three planet materials with up to 8K textures, one flickering star material, and 13 module blueprints for fast assembly. So I feel like this video is me just listing a lot of things, but that's normally how these marketplace videos go. But again, I'm just showcasing what you can get in these asset packs. That's a total of 76 unique meshes, with four LODs, 53 materials and material instances, and 72 textures, with the texture resolutions ranging from 1K up to 8K, with the majority of them being 4K. Now we have the Alien Planet Fantasy Environment Grassland Plants. So this environment package features an ecosystem of interactive plants that flow in the wind and light up when the player touches them. This package contains everything you need for your game environment, including 18 unique plant species, 11 of which are physics interactive with the player, a dynamic plant wind blueprint that animates wind according to a world space texture, a landscape with a world creator landscape material, a bioluminescent water material, tileable backdrop landscape mesh, a realistic planet material with two 4K planet textures, an animated starry sky material, an animated nebula material, and five rock meshes. So this also includes seven ambient sound effects as well, including wind, water, animal calls, and crickets. On top of that, it also includes 29 footstep sounds for dirt, grass, mud, water shallow, and water deep. So this has 60 materials and material instances with 78 textures with the text resolutions ranging from 128 up to 4K, with the mass majority of them being 1K and 4K. Next up is the Ancient Statues with Showcase Museum. So this is a set of six highly detailed statues each with an assortment of materials placed within a photorealistic display environment. So this features three statue meshes, two head bust meshes, one Roman pillar, one mass material for the statues and pillar, six parent material instances, six material instances for each individual mesh, a light baked BSB environment for displaying the meshes, four architectural material parents, and five seamless marble textures, all of which being 4K resolution. So in total, there are six static meshes and six LODs with six materials, 50 material instances, and 35 textures. Text resolutions going from 1K up to 4K with the majority of them being 4K. And finally, last but not least, it is the fish school system. So this system allows you to easily animate thousands of swimming creatures. 
So this is all done on a spline based system. However, there is a Niagara system as well, which is also linked on this marketplace page. So this fish spline system allows you to quickly and easily animate hundreds of fish with ease as it uses instance vertex animated meshes that dynamically move along procedurally generated spines. Now they are procedurally generated, however you do have some control over where they go. So you create the path that you want the fish to follow and then it will procedurally generate based upon that so it doesn't just look like they're following a very repetitive cycle the whole time. There is also a dynamic speed checkbox so that the fish will alternate between slow and fast speeds based upon timers with random variables. You can choose the number of fish used, the scale and size variations, and you can also set the starting point along the spine and choose the distance between each instance. Included in this, there is one example fish, however there are no more, but you can easily replace the mesh and materials with your own as well. So in this, there are three blueprints and 14 textures. And I think that'll be it for this video, showcasing Ethereum Design's seller sale on the Unreal Engine Marketplace, where you can save 50% on all of their products. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful of me just showcasing all of these amazing products. And again, there are so many more on their page, which I'll obviously leave a link to in the description down below. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help the channel out a lot. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.